So you started packing? Well, that's what people do when they leave. Dude, I can't believe you still have this. Give me that. John, tell me this isn't about her. Not about her. Oh, wow, that was really convincing. Well, what the hell do you want from me? A freaking explanation? I mean, you've been talking about leaving ever since she left you. Well, like seven months ago, man. Okay, we've been through this. When are you gonna stop chewing my ass off about this? And I'm, I'm letting you throw me this ridiculous going away party. Isn't that enough? Whatever. Anyway, you called me out here to help you pack up, so uh, what do you want me to do? Can you go pack the kitchen? Sure. Give me the easy work. Thank you. Yeah. Emily! I'm in the bedroom. What do you think? I think we're gonna be late if that's what you're wearing. Late? What do you mean? The party doesn't start till eight. Party, no. We got drinks with my boss in a half an hour. Didn't you get my text? God damn it, Dickie. Jeez, Emily, is it that time of the month already? You always do this. I told you about John's going away party a week ago. This is important to me. I have to say goodbye. Wait, who the hell is John? My ex. Wait a minute, isn't that the writer? So let me get this straight. You want to back out on a free meal at Enzo's just to say goodbye to some loser you broke up with a half a year ago? Come on, don't make me go stag, all right? I already promised his wife he'd be there. Sorry, but I've known him my whole life. I owe this to him. You don't know that guy's shit. You understand? You know, I tell you, I work my ass off so we can live here. A little gratitude would be appreciated. You know, so get over yourself. We're gonna be late. Fuck you. Emily! Just drop it, Dickie. Would you quit calling me Dickie? Hey, Hansel. How are you? Hey, Rachel. Thanks for coming out. Of course, I would not miss seeing my favorite poet for anything. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, I'm not actually writing these days. Well, you should be. Um, how'd it go? They say love is like water, so drowning's the game. Drowning in passion, but you drown all the same. So, uh, what? Are you kidding? Joan, that's you within reach, summer 2012. I published it in my magazine. That's right. That's right. You know, it's a shame we're going. I've had two editors quit on me in the last one. Yeah, it's a real shame. I'm sorry to hear it. Well, I guess I just I just wanted to wish you good luck with whatever it is you're looking for. Someone who claims to be moving on, you seem pretty sedentary. What's supposed to mean? Dude, that chick just memorized your entire shitty poem. What? Rachel? Yeah. No, no, she's just a friend. No, 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 I'm just your friend. That girl wants to know how good you cook breakfast. <laughs> you just can't see that because you still can't get over your high school sweetheart. It's my going away party. I don't need this. Yeah, and you're the most miserable person here. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Oh no, no, tell me right now. I, don't, I, I mean, like, seriously, I will drop it right now. Fine! Everything about this goddamn town reminds me of her. You know, at first it hurt like nothing I ever experienced, like some... S something cut somebody out of me, I don't know. Now everything is dull and gray and, and 
bit empty. She was my first. I was her first. She was my soulmate. What, back at the bar? No. That was a monologue from the notebook. <laughs> John, listen. When I left you six months ago, I said a lot of things I didn't mean. Seven months. I'm sorry. You remind me what it was you said. I believe the words loser and directionless might have been thrown yeah, around. Yeah, it was. You're a directionless loser with no ambition. Did I really say that? Yeah. But you were right. That's kind of why I'm moving. Wow. Only took you seven months. <laughs> Had my heart broken. <laughs> So how's Dick? Great. I don't know. Shitty. He's kind of a selfish prick. Wow. Sounds like a great guy. <laughs> Seriously, he sounds wonderful. You don't deserve that. Mm. John, I, I shouldn't have said that stuff. I'm really embarrassed. It's okay. It's fine. I forgive you. Really? Yeah. I mean, I kind of professed my undying love to you back there, so I'd have to be a total dick to take that back. So, whatever it is you're having such a hard time saying, just say it because it's okay I love you too please don't leave It's not like I'm going anywhere anymore. 